As more people have resumed work, shopping, and leisure activities, we have experienced an increase in the number of COVID-19 cases, hospitalizations, and deaths in our region. How do we find the balance between economic recovery and public health safety? Nearly all public health experts agree that masking, social distancing, and hand hygiene will enable us to find that balance until a vaccine is developed. I have been surprised that masking has become such a point of contention. The scientific evidence that masking is one of the most effective ways to stop the spread of the virus is undisputed among experts. We all talk, cough, and sneeze. This is how we leave droplets containing the virus on surfaces that may be touched by another person who then touches their eyes, nose, or mouth and contracts the virus. You may have COVID-19 for days before you know that you do, or your symptoms may be so mild that you never know you have been a carrier. Those at greatest risk if they contract COVID-19 include adults age 65 and older, and those with chronic conditions including but not limited to diabetes, heart disease, and lung diseases. I have heard people state that they are not at risk so they shouldn't wear a mask along with several other reasons. I know that masking can be uncomfortable, but I wear one every day. Why? Because I care about protecting others. I challenge everyone to look at masking as an ethical responsibility. Think about the people you love who could be hospitalized or perhaps even die if they contract COVID-19. Masking is a small price to pay to protect others especially our family, friends, and neighbors who are at greater risk. As this virus continues to spread, we are all on the front lines of this fight. Masking is a public health issue. It is everyone's responsibility to help mitigate the spread of COVID-19 before it is too late. The best way to do that is frequent hand washing, social distancing, avoiding touching your face, and wearing a mask. We are in this together and we'll come through this pandemic if we work together.